Hi friends, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to solve a 5 plus 5 jumbo transportation problem by matrix minimum method. I have individual videos on how to solve a transportation problem by matrix minimum method, northwest corner method and Vogel's approximation method. You can get all those videos in the playlist below. The link to playlist is given in the video description below. So for now, let's solve it. But today, I thought to try a harder problem which will clear your concepts. So let's start. This is our question. Solve the following transportation problem by matrix minimum method. So for some basics, this is called a transportation problem. This matrix is called the cost matrix. Where each individual cell values are called the transportation cost. And we have 5 origins O1, O2, O3, O4 and O5 and 5 destinations D1, D2, D3, D4 and D5. If we allocate or if we transport 1 into sub goods from origin 1 to destination 1, our cost of transportation is 7 units. That may be 7 rupees or 7 dollar anything. But if we allocate or transport 1 into sub goods from origin 1 to destination 3, our cost of transportation reduces to 1. So our objective is to allocate goods from 5 origins to 5 destinations in such a manner so that our total transportation cost is minimum. And these outside values are called the supply values and these outside values are called the demand values. That means in origin 1 we have total supply of 6 units of goods. Similarly in origin 2 the total supply is of 12 units of goods. Similarly. In destination 1, the total demand is of 10 units of goods. Similarly, in destination 3, the total demand is of 11 units of goods. So, we have to fulfill all the demands by all the supplies with minimum transportation cost. So, let's solve it using matrix minimum method. As the name suggests, we look for the minimum value among all the cost values in the matrix. So, the first minimum value is the 1. But we have three ones, one at here, one at here and one at here. So where we will allocate first? Next we will consider the allocation cost. So we will consider minimum allocation cost. That means if we allocate at this one, for, for this one the demand is 11 and supply is 6. So you can allocate the minimum value which is 6. So after allocating 6, the transportation cost for this cell will become 6 into 1. That is 6. Similarly, for this cell, demand 10, supply 12, we can allocate the minimum value which is 10. So, for this cell, it will become 10. And for this cell, demand 11, supply 5. We will take the minimum value which is 5. After allocating 5, the transportation cost for this cell will become 5. So, the cost is 5 for this cell, 10 for this cell and 6 for this cell. So 5 is the minimum value and we will allocate to this cell first. So let's allocate it. It becomes 0 and it becomes 6. And since the supply becomes exhausted or 0, we will simply strike through this row. Because we can't allocate to any of the cells in this row because the supply itself is ex exhausted. So next smallest element is again 1 for this question. So for this cell the cost was 6 and for this cell it was 10. So we will continue with this cell. So the demand is 6, supply is 6. So let's allocate the minimum or same value in this case. It will become 0 and it will become 0. So we will cover this row and this column. Next we have this one demand 10 supply 12 allocate the minimum value which is 10 it becomes 0 it becomes 2. So this column is exhausted so let's strike through. Our next smallest element is 2 but we can't allocate to this 2 because it strikes through. Also, we can't allocate to this 3 2 also, it's also strike through. So we are left with 3. We have two 3's, this 3 is strike through, so we are left with this 3 only. So let's allocate to it. 
the demand is 21 supply is 2 take the minimum value and allocate it becomes 0 it becomes 19 so let's try to this row also so these three rows are exhausted let's focus on these two rows only so we are left with 19 13 20 18 12 and 17 so the next smallest element is 12 and for 12 demand 19 supply 20 take the minimum value and allocate it becomes 0 it becomes 1 so let's try through it so we are left with 19 20 18 and 17 so 17 is the smallest and demand 17 supply 1 let's allocate 1 it becomes 0 it becomes 16 so right now we have 19 20 left and here 3 and 16 so 3 plus 16 is 19 and this is 19 so no confusion here see just allocate 3 it becomes 0 just try through it and it becomes 16 and 16 and 16 allocate 0 and it becomes 0 so since all our demands are fulfilled and all our supplies are exhausted our allocation is complete next we will find out our total allocation cost so which is given by 6 into 1 plus 10 into 1 2 into 3 plus 5 into 1 plus 3 into 19 16 into 20 19 into 12 plus 1 into 17 which is 649 this is our required answer I have also solved the same question with Vogel's approximation method or BAM and the cost has come 489 which is much lesser than this answer obtained by matrix minimum method so we can say the Vogel's approximation method is much more accurate than matrix minimum method. So friends this was my video on how to solve a 5 plus 5 transformation problem by matrix minimum method. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like this video please like it within the like button below and encourage me to make more quality videos like this one. And please subscribe to my youtube channel. By subscribing you can stay connected with me and get regular updates from me. Just whenever I upload my next video you will get an email if you subscribe. And please share this video among your friends and family on your Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and YouTube accounts. By sharing the knowledge, you may help someone else. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And stay connected by subscribing.